One in five Americans will be diagnosed with skin cancer. It is the most commonly diagnosed form of cancer. Now, traditional treatments, they involve cutting, burning, typically scarring. But now, a new advance actually melts away lesions in the doctor's office. My name's Kathy, and this is my sister, Shira. We both have skin cancer. We grew up in Southern California, so we were exposed to a lot of sun. At 32, I was diagnosed with skin cancer, and I had what's called a Mohs procedure, so it left a very bad scar on my chest. I still have skin cancers coming up on my skin because the damage is done. Shortly after Kathy was diagnosed, I was diagnosed also with basal cell carcinoma. It was pretty devastating. They didn't get it all, so they needed to go back and freeze it. And now the basal cell is growing back. My sister and I are really looking forward to sitting down with Dr. Lin and discussing different options for our skin cancer. I met with Kathy and Shira regarding their skin cancers. Now with Kathy, her initial skin cancer, and it's relatively small, I'm gonna recommend that she have a traditional excision. With Shira, her skin cancer is a great candidate for electronic brachytherapy because it's in a cosmetically sensitive location and it's recurrent. So Dr. Ash, our radiation oncologist, reviewed Shira's biopsy results, and we're gonna start the treatment today. Okay, I think we're ready to get started. Okay. Electronic brachytherapy is almost like melting away the skin cancer. Now, it isn't melted away in one treatment. It does take eight treatments, but each treatment only takes about five minutes. There's a new FDA-approved device called Estea. The main benefits are that it's painless. There are no needles, no scalpels. That wasn't so bad. <laughs> and it has great cosmetic results also. That's it? Yeah. I'll give you a hand up. Okay. Now, why is this a big deal? Well, between 1992 and 2006, the treatment of non-melanoma skin cancers increased by 77%. Really quickly, as compared to traditional methods, do you think that this idea of melting away, again, this would only work for the non-melanoma skin right. cancers, do you think that it would lead Huge to innovation, start? because as they said in the tape piece, in sensitive areas, especially the face, around the eyes, the mouth, the nose, typically we have to do what's called Mohs uh, chemosurgery, it's leaving big defects that we have to close. I mean, we can do that pretty well, but it does, does result in scars. So another option. So